Hey guys, it's Archon, and I just wanted to tell you about an upcoming live stream I'm going to have regarding my Twitch Plays Tower Defense game, Stream Defense. If you have not played Stream Defense yet, please do. Go to twitch.tv slash archonthewizard. It's running there 24-7, except for the times that it's not because of a bug or a crash. But most of the time, it's there, it's running, it's playable, and there's usually a couple or more people to play with. And I think it's pretty fun. Uh, so please check it out. It helps me develop the game. But most of you, I'm guessing, have already played the game. Uh, some of you are probably active players of the game. And that's exactly why I'm making this video is because I need your help. As a lot of you guys know, I haven't had a lot of time to work on the game recently. Uh, for about the last eight months, I've had three adorable little kiddos and a lot of work taking up my time. Uh, now, this coming summer, I will have a lot more free time, and I can get right back into putting some time into developing the game, and I'm really excited about that. But in the meantime, where I only have one or two hours a week, uh, most of my work on the game is actually done in my head. A lot of the time uh, that I'm working on the game, it's just throughout the day, I'm busy with other things, but I can at least brainstorm. And so while I haven't put a lot of new features in in the past six months, I have a lot of new features in my brain, and uh, I poured those thoughts onto paper recently, as you guys might have read from my recent uh, blog post, The Future of Stream Defense, which I will link below in the description if you're interested in reading that. And while I've been doing all these thoughts about what would make Stream Defense a great game, uh, I've realized that it's really missing something. And that is this roguelike element. Uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar with roguelike games. They're incredibly addictive, I think in an ethical way. I think some games are addictive in an unethical way in that they make you feel obligated to play the game even when you don't enjoy playing the game. Where roguelikes are addictive because they're just really fun for hours on end. And I feel like Twitch Tower Defense really has that potential, but it's not there yet. Um, each game feels a little too similar to the game before it and the game after it, and there's not really that potential for a super exciting combination. It needs that those elements of randomness and choice uh, that roguelikes have, and I want to add that to it. I want to make stream defense as fun as possible. But I only have one brain, and I need a few more, because it's pretty easy to get stuck when you only have one brain, and I'm sure there's things I aren't, I'm not seeing, and nothing would help me more than a bunch of people who play the game, enjoy the game, want to help the game, giving me feedback in real time. And so, getting to the point, my plan is to have a community live stream. Uh, the date is below, but in case you can't see below, it's going to be on March 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's also the time in the game. So 10 a.m. game time, Pacific time. Um, that's also 6 p.m. UTC, or universal time. So March 9th, 10 a.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. UTC. And I will be going on live stream at twitch.tv slash archonthewizard and just spilling all my thoughts out and telling you this is what I'd love to do and this is where I'm stuck. And then just seeing how you guys react to that. Um, because since I've written that blog post, again, linked below, I've, I've come up with some different ideas, uh, specifically around the item shop. Uh, I, I'm going to have to change that blog post, but I'll wait till after the live stream. In the blog post, I talk about allowing players to buy these upgrades with gold. And I'm starting to realize that gold's not the right currency for that. Because I want everyone to be able to get exciting upgrades every game, and I don't want it to depend on how much gold you happen to have saved up at the time. I want every game to be to have the potential to for you to become incredibly powerful and get some really cool combination. Um, so I have some cool ideas around that. I'm really excited about them, but again, I'm just getting stuck on a few small things, and I feel like if I can just talk about it with you guys, you guys are going to give me the feedback I need to make this feature uh, perfect, to make it exactly what you guys want. And so with that being said, please, if you haven't tried out the game yet, try it out. That way you can come on uh, Friday, March 9th and, and share your thoughts. Uh, and if you have tried the game, keep playing. And you guys are awesome, really. I, I couldn't make this game without you guys. I'm the luckiest game developer in the world. Uh, every game developer would love just a team of people playing the game 24-7, uh, 
uh, right in front of them and giving feedback. Um, but that's not really feasible for, with most games. Luckily, with this Switch Plays game, it is. And so uh, you guys are amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to see you Friday, March 9th, 10 a.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. UTC. Thanks.